Hey, this is Bennett. You're watching Melodification. In this series, we take a popular Scruggs tune like Pike County Breakdown and take it apart a little bit, put some new licks into it, and kind of blend Scruggs styles and melodic styles and single string styles together to see what we come up with. You can get the tab for this and all of my other videos by signing up for my mailing list. It's completely free and the link is below this video. Please subscribe if you're new and like this video, give it a thumbs up because it makes me feel good and also gives other people an easy time finding it. Thanks a bunch, enjoy Pike County Breakdown and I'll see you next week for another Melodification. One, two, three. <laughs>
So. And then leading into the next lick. Lick number two is a slide from the third fret to the eighth. And then lick number three, if you will, is this lick, but done melodic style. And I do it up in this position so I can get all three notes without moving my hand at all, my left hand. And then this position works nicely on that um, last three notes of that lick. And then I do the fucking down breakdown roll. So back into the Scruggs melody. And then lick number four. I really like that lick a lot. Um, it's a combination, this... I don't know, I think it's, I got it from Bela Fleck or something. That leads really nicely into this Keithish bebop lick. Then we get back into a paraphrase of the melody. I don't do exactly what he does, but I do something Scruggsy um, that he may have done in this song on different recordings or at live shows. Um, it's just very scruggsy. It's not melodic or single string. So after that, I go. So now we go up the neck. And then I go into that kind of um, open sounding thing. It's, I could do this. That would sound more Scruggsy, but I kind of like the openness of it, and the, and I like how different it sounds from Scruggs. Do that kind of popular fiddle tune tag. But you see, I I'm doing. I'm really highlighting the melody as much as I can. I got really excited about this next phrase um, because it just worked out so perfectly to get me to that next melody note. My goal note was this. So um, what I did is I did a one octave scale. Um, it's really an A scale. I'm just starting on a E note. So it goes like this. In context, That leads so nicely into this, this A chord. And then, let me adjust the camera. I'm getting into um, this A shape up here. It's the root position A shape, uh, otherwise known as the F position. And then I'm getting into this scale stuff. So. Let me touch briefly on this scale stuff. So what I'm doing in my right hand is I'm doing middle, thumb, index, middle, and then I'm shifting my hand back and playing my index on the first string. So it's kind of a single string phrase. I'm going middle, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, and then index again. And it's really, really useful getting these kind of high register phrases down, down, down until you get to this. And this is kind of the threshold where you can switch from this into kind of straight up melodic. And what I mean is... It's a descending scale pattern that leads really nicely into kind of what we normally think of melodic style banjos, like scales and patterns and stuff, utilizing this open G string. Up the neck, the, the open G string isn't incredibly useful for melodic stuff because it's not in the same range 
as this really high stuff. So what Noam does a lot is, is using this fifth string for fretting uh, melodic notes, and he does it incredibly well and incredibly fluid. But um, this is one tool that I've used a little bit, and it's been, it's been really helpful in, in um, figuring out arrangements up the neck. So it's, it's really great when you're switching from really high to low. All right, let's get back to the melody. So you got that. And what that is is an E chord. So that's the five chord. And um, after that, I'm doing this pedal steely kind of bend. And right after that pedal steely bend, I'm sliding. So I'm not even bringing that bend down before I slide. And it's, it's kind of hard to get. Since I worked out this arrangement today, it's, so I haven't had much time to practice it, but um, what I'm attempting to do is muting the third and the fourth strings because my bend is going so high that I'm touching those strings. I want to mute that when I'm sliding. Like that. It's hard to get that note in tune as, as you can see as well. But just practice it. I mean, you don't have to do it that way. You could go. There's a lot of different things you can do there, but I really like that pedal steely kind of sound. So back up here, pretty much the same roll. And then... So same kind of descending scale pattern. Then we're doing a full-on descending scale pattern, um, starting on the fifth of the chord. So we're starting on this E. Into a melodic lick. That's the arrangement. I hope you like it. Please subscribe if you're new. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Remember, you can get the tab by signing up on my mailing list. The link is in the description box below the video. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.